Hello everybody, today we're going to talk about the percent equation. Okay, so what's the percent equation? Percent equation looks something like this. You get a sentence like this, what number is 82% of 50? And you turn that into an equation. So, the what number. Anytime you see what number, what percent, that's your variable. Anytime you see the word is, that means equals. You can take any percent, change it to a decimal. And the word of always means times. So, if I write this out, x equals 0.82 times 150. I get this right here. So at this point, I just get out my handy dandy T84 plus C Silver Edition graphing calculator. And I multiply that out and I get 123. X equals 123. Okay. So, moving right along. Uh, what number is 24% of 50? Okay, so what number X is equals 0.24 times 50. Okay, 0.24 times 50. That's 12. X equals 12. Piece of cake. Nine point five is what percent of twenty-five? Okay, nine point five is equals what percent? That's x of is times. 25. And I'm going to solve this by dividing both sides by 25. 9.5 divided by 25. That'd be 0.38. Which, since it wants to know what percent, that would be 38%. What fun. Okay. 39 is 52% of what number? I tell you what, why don't you pause this real quick, do this problem, then jump back on here and see how you did. Okay, 39 is 52% of what number? That means 39 is 52%, that's 0.52, of what number? X. Okay, now I'm going to solve this by dividing by 0.52. So x will be 39 divided by 0.52 is 75. Check out 75. Oh, here's three more for you to do. Okay, so you can pause the video here. You can figure out what number is 10% of 20. 3 is what percent of 600, and 8 is 80% of what number? Pause this video, go work those out, and I will talk, I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, what number is 10%, that's 0.1, of 20? You can do that one in your head, X is 2. Okay, next up. 3 is what percent of 600? And that's an awful 6, so we're going to clean that up. Nobody wants to see that in their notes. There you go. And then I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by 600. And x will be 3 divided by 600. That would be 0 0.005. Now the question is, what percent is that? So I move the decimal two places. That is 0.5%, half a percent. OK, next up. Uh, 8 is 80% of what number? OK, that should be pretty easy. You can do that in your head. 8 is 0.8 of some number x. I'm going to go ahead and divide by 0 0.8. 8 divided by 0 0.8. How about 10? Okay. Hopefully you got two 
0.5% and, ten, oops, 10%. Or no. Nope, that's just the number. What's the number? All right. Find the percent of sales on the, uh, of sales tax on the food total. Okay, so the food total is uh, 27.5%. Okay, so here's what you would do is you would take your food total, right? And you would multiply that by the sales tax rate. And that would equal your sales tax. Okay, so if we keep that in mind here, then, okay, so uh, 27, whoops. Oh, I changed my color. Okay, so uh, 27.5 is the food total times the rate would equal $1.65. That's what my tax is. Okay, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to divide by 27.5. And my tax rate is going to be 1.65 divided by 27.5. It's going to be 6%, 0.06, which is 6%. So this person gave us 6%, uh, or no, that was the 6% tax uh, on, the, on the food. Find the amount of a 16% tip on the food total. Okay, so on this one, uh, the food total is 2750 Okay. And then I'm going to multiply that by 16% because I need a tip. Okay, so 27.5 times 0.16. So the tip is going to be $4.40. So like the next question would be, what did this thing cost me? Well, that would be the food total. Uh, so that would be twenty-seven fifty plus the tax, which is $1.65. Plus uh, the tip is 440. So I would add all that up: 27.5 plus 165 plus 440. So 33.55. That's why it's way easier or way cheaper to eat at home. Usually at home, you can eat a steak for the price of a hamburger at the uh, restaurant. Okay, so you're going to get to do numbers 1 through 35, the odd ones in class. I look forward to seeing you guys. Have a great evening.